Welcome to Boots Buy. My name is William, and today we got ourselves a boot battle. In this corner, we got the Red Wing Iron Ranger, and in this corner, the Timberland Premium 6 inch waterproof boot. I'm gonna compare these guys, these icons, head to head, compare the leather quality, sole quality, durability, price, and ultimately figure out which of these two boots are worth your hard earned money. Let's get into it. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below and also give me a thumbs up. Both things are super helpful for the channel. I really appreciate it. As I said today, we're comparing the Red Wing Iron Ranger to the Timberland Premium 6 inch waterproof boot. Uh, there's a lot to talk about. These boots are both iconic. Uh, they are worn by hipsters. They are worn by workwear enthusiasts. They are worn by construction workers, the whole thing. Uh, these are two of the most popular boots in America today. And so what a better time to compare them head to head. So let's start off by talking about the style of these two boots. The Red Wing Iron Ranger is a classic cap toe service boot style. And the inspiration of this boot goes back to early 1900s uh, and the boots that iron miners wore in Minnesota. Red Wing, they're based in Minnesota, so they took a lot of those old concepts of those old, really hard, rugged boots, and they turned it into the Iron Ranger. It has quadruple stitching along the toe cap, this external, really sturdy heel counter right here with triple stitching all along the upper, and then these nickel plated eyelets. It's a very rugged looking boot, and it's also a very rugged wearing boot. Uh, it's got quite thick leather, which I'll talk about more a little bit later, but it also has a 270 degree Goodyear welt, so that means you can easily resole this whenever you need to. The Timberland Premium, on the other hand, how can you mistake this, man? You see this coming from a mile away. A very iconic look. This is a plain toe boot. It's got quadruple stitching along the upper here and along the heel counter. It's got this grip stick, heavy rubber lug sole. Also, uh, a couple other things about this. It's got the hexagonal lace eyelets right here a leather padded collar, and then it's also insulated with 400 grams of Primaloft insulation. When it comes to style these two boots, it's really hard to give one brand a point over the other because they're just both so iconic. They both have totally different applications. I think at this point, Timberland, this is more of a fashion boot. I'll talk a little bit more about why I think that later, whereas people still wear the Red Wing to ride motorcycles uh, or just out on the street walking around town or for even construction work. So when it comes to style, I personally prefer the Red Wing Iron Ranger. I think this works a little bit better in my wardrobe. So I'm gonna give Red Wing the point, though, I, you know, you could also easily give that point to Timberland as well. So put it on the board. As for the leather quality, the Red Wing Iron Ranger is made with in-house tanned leather by the SB Foot Tanning Company. This is oil tanned full grain leather. It's super soft, super supple. I've been treating it with Venetian Leather Balm and that is great for getting out the nicks and scratches. Uh, but yeah, this leather is super high quality, about two millimeters thick. Uh, around just even the thinnest parts, whereas the Timberland Premium uses, I believe this leather is from the Honduras, but it is a Nubuck leather. One thing you do get with that Timberland and that Nubuck leather is that it is fully waterproof. And that's one of the best benefits to this boot right here. Uh, and so if you pour water onto this boot, it just slides right off. On Red Wings, on the other hand, it is not waterproof. It is weather resistant. This oil tanned leather is very resistant to water. It's not gonna soak up a lot of water, but if you stand in a puddle, like it's gonna get wet, it's gonna soak through. Uh, but because it's so oily and if you treat it every so often, you don't have much risk of damaging the leather. But uh, you know, in that area, Timberland is definitely superior when it comes to like weatherproofing or waterproofing. Uh, the Timberland boot is completely waterproof. But if we're strictly talking about the quality of the leather between these two boots, I have to give it to the Red Wing Iron Ranger. That SB Foot Tanning Company oil tanned leather is just so nice, so soft, so supple, um, and it's going to last ultimately a lot longer than the Wheat Nubuck here on the Timberland. Let's talk about the soles of these two boots. Now, the sole on the Red Wing Iron Ranger, this is a Vibram 430 mini lug sole, quite hard. Uh, there's almost no shock absorption throughout this boot at all. This is not a very comfortable boot if you're standing on your feet all day long. Uh, it's basically got the amount of shock absorption as a red brick, so you're not getting a ton of flexibility in there. That said, 
This sole is fantastic in terms of durability. I've been had this for about six months and the heel hasn't worn down at all. So this is one of the better in terms of durability soles um, that, I've, I've, that I have, that I've owned. The Vibram 430 Mini Lug, really durable and I haven't had any issues with it scraping away or wearing down. The Timberland sole, on the other hand, a lot more grippy. This softer rubber, this does so much better in wet weather. That and you also get the deeper indents and ridges here. The Timberland outsole, much better for wet weather uh, or any sort of slippery situation, whereas the Red Wing Iron Ranger outsole, much better for durability. So when it comes to giving one of these two boots a point for their sole quality, I'm gonna actually skip that because I think they both serve very different purposes. Comparing the durability of these two boots, I've kind of already covered it, but for me, the Timberland, it's got, uh, it's not a full solid midsole and outsole. There is some space in there. This softer rubber is gonna wear down a lot quicker along the heel, whereas that leather insole and this really hard rubber outsole, you know, it's a lot less comfortable, offers a lot less shock absorption, but when it comes to straight durability, the sole is definitely gonna be a lot longer lasting. And what this really comes down to is that the Red Wing Iron Ranger has a 270 degree Goodyear welt. What that means is when the sole eventually wears down, you can replace it easily. With the Timberland Premium, uh, it's not the same story. This has a bond welt, which means basically this, this uh, outsole and midsole is just glued to this piece of leather up here. And what that means is that when it comes time to resole these, you're gonna have a harder time finding a cobbler who can do it. Now, some people can resole uh, Timberlands, it's been done before, but it's not as easy of a proposition as say, with a Red Wing or any sort of Goodyear Welton boot. Comparing the prices of these two boots, the Red Wing Iron Ranger goes for $330 full price retail, whereas the Timberland Premium goes for about 190 full priced retail. For both of these, you know, Red Wing, you can find factory seconds or B cuts. Um, sometimes you can find them at certain retailers on sale. Timberland, you can for sure find this on sale, um, sometimes for like $150, $140. So ultimately, uh, this one's an easy one. Timberland certainly wins on price. So which of these two boots should you get? I think it's a pretty clear case of who should get which boot. If you prize durability, if you prize construction quality, and you wanna have a boot that's gonna last you 10 to 15 years, invest in a Red Wing Iron Ranger. However, if you stand on your feet all day, you want a really good boot for winter that's insulated, very warm, offers a lot of grip, completely waterproof, um, but it's gonna last maybe two or three years, um, maybe up to five years if you take really good care of it, then the Timberland Premium is also a really solid value. I like this boot a lot. However, I just don't like it as much as the Red Wing Iron Ranger. When it comes down to the boot battle, the points, they, they tell the whole story. So the winner of this boot battle is the Red Wing Iron Ranger. Even though I prefer the Red Wing Iron Ranger, I still think there's a time and place for the Timberland Premium. Uh, again, that waterproof, uh, this sole, uh, it just makes it a great, great winter boot, especially if you keep it nice and crisp and clean. So there is a time and place. If you can find it on sale, it's an even better value, but great boot, but in my opinion, better boot. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button down below. Both are super helpful for the channel and I really appreciate it. Until next time, put your best boot forward.